Welcome to the demonstration of SSTage RPA web application automation. In this demonstration, we will create an automation process that will automate the various web interactions performed by a user while finding the stock price of a company. The various steps the user performs are open the Google Finance website, enter the company name in the text box, click search, extract the stock price, print it onto the console. Let's begin by creating a new automation process. Since this automation process involves capturing the stock price for a single company, in order to save the captured stock price value, we will define an argument. Let's understand what is an argument. Arguments are placeholders to store the values that are used in an automation process. We will create an argument with name as stock price, type as string for storing the fetch stock value, and direction set to out as the stock price will be extracted from the web application. Drag and drop application activity onto the process canvas and connect it with the start node. Choose the application type as web apps. Click select an application followed by add new application option to add a new web application that we want to automate. This opens the add new application dialog box where we can specify input fields such as application type as web apps in our case, application name a user friendly name as stock finder, login URL to specify the URL of the login page, if any, and search URL to specify the URL of the landing page of the web application from where we want to begin the web automation. In this example, since our automation process has no login functionality involved, we will provide the Google Finance URL as login and search URLs. Choose the preferred browser to launch the configured web application. SSTage RPA supports automation in different web browsers Internet Explorer, Chrome and Firefox. Click Settings button to open the web application in the preferred browser. A multi-model dialog box gets launched that gives the ability to automate all the steps for an application using the Start and Stop field configuration buttons. Click Play to begin the configuration. As soon as the configuration starts, the current page becomes active and gains focus with the red box. The first step of automation will be to enter the search query in the text box. To get the focus on the text box, hover over it. Once the red box appears around the text box, click to make it active and configure the interaction. The field properties window appears on the right pane of the window using which the properties for the selected field can be defined which is text box in this case. Under control behavior section we may select the action to be performed on the selected control. There are various actions supported that one can perform such as click double click get text etc. In this case since we want to enter a value in the text box which is company name Therefore, select action as set value. Selecting action as set value displays the input source from where the value will be specified. We may set input source as argument or a constant value in case the value is not supposed to change during the execution of the process. In this demonstration, we will set input source as a constant value emphasis and make it as a default value by checking the is default value checkbox. To identify field configurations in a big process, user friendly name is provided to the configured field by setting the display name property of the field property section. Once the required configurations are done, save the configuration by clicking save button. The saved configurations appear under the save tab of field properties window. The next step in this automation process involves performing a click over the search button. To configure this field interaction, again click play and capture the search button once it gets highlighted. Select action as click and provide display name, click search 
in the field properties. Save the configuration by clicking Save button. Upon saving, the configuration gets queued up below the previous configuration in the Save tab. The final step for this automation process involves fetching the stock price of the company. In order to fetch the stock price, we must configure the element which will contain the value. For doing this, let us look out the stock price of Infosys. Once the page results load, the stock price displays on the web page. Click the play button and configure the element containing the value of stock price. To extract text of the listed stock price, select action as get text and provide display name in field properties. To save the captured value, select variable name drop down as stock price argument. Assessdash provides different options to find the configured field. One may use the CSS3 XPath, CSS3 selectors, inner text, or do it manually to find the configured field at runtime. As the user interface of the web application can change anytime, the find by property can be configured accordingly if the automation process fails. Save the configured field. Once all the fields are configured, click Save Configured Fields and return to Studio under Save tab. Upon doing this, browser window closes and control goes back to Process Canvas. By double-clicking Stock Finder activity, we get to verify all the configured fields. We may anytime open the configured field and change the values if required. The final step of this automation is to print value of the argument stock price. Drop the right line activity present under the section of assign and write and connect it with the application activity. In the text box, type name of the argument as stock price, append it with the desired message. After configuring the automation process, let's test run it. Set up the environment first to instantiate the configured application. This launches the browser window with the search URL page loaded. It is on this page where the automation executes. Hence, don't close the window before the test run is completed. Click Test Run. All the configured automation properties will now run and at the end, we'll get the output, which is the stock price of emphasis in the output window. Hence, we have successfully created the automation process for fetching the stock price. Now that we have completed this demonstration, can you create a web application automation to fetch the city temperature? What if you want to fetch the stock value of multiple companies? SSH RPA also provides activities to deal with such scenarios. Make sure to explore other demonstration videos. Happy automating!